Hello, peeps, and welcome back to the best career mode channel here on YouTube on FIFA 23 or with our modded Arsenal manager mode here today. Then, of course, last episode was the beginning of the series, and we had some some tough, tough matches. We drew with Newcastle 1-1, we lost to Crystal Palace 2-0, and managed to beat Manchester City 2-1. We beat Southampton 5-2 in the league off camera. Now, today we have PSV in our Europa League debut. We have Leicester in the league, Middlesbrough in a cup competition, and Chelsea in the league as well. Some tough, tough matches. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy episode number one. If you did and you are excited for more, remember to leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. A quick little added mod we added is the blue Arsenal goalkeeper kit. We can change it from blue, orange, green like they use in real life, which is rather cool. I'm also working potentially on getting the all-white kit that they use in the FA Cup, which will be cool as well. We've got the scoreboards working for the cup competitions, for the England Cup competitions today. Everything is up to date. Everything is amazing, and I'm loving this modded career mode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy episode one. Enjoy the commentary style of like a real life commentary and stuff like that. That's how we're going to continue this episode here today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into the opener. Here we are, the beautiful Emirates Stadium, then live on BT Sport as Arsenal take on PSV in the first Europa League match. The campaign, a slightly rotated team. For the Gunners here at home. No Jay Zeus. He's dropped to the bench as is Martinelli, Saka and Odegaard. That man, Eddie Nketiah, starts up top with Trossard on the left. Emil Smith, Rowe on the right. <sighs> Sleeves rolled up. Ladies and gentlemen of the Reading's Kid YouTube channel, I will wait. I'll sit here. I'll wait. You know what I'm waiting for. Subscribe. Now. Bunch of bums. A heavily rotated side. For Mikel Arteta's team to kick off the Europa League campaign. It's interesting to see them rotate by uh, this much in the Europa League. A big competition for Arsenal this season. Mark Winoff starts on the right side. Kieran Tierney left back. Kivior and Holding at the back in front of Matt Turner. It's going to be a challenge for the home team with this rotated team. But clearly Arteta feels confident enough as PSV get things underway here in the Europa League. Nice passing already by PSV. Up to the right side, Kieran Tierney keeping his arms behind his back. We've seen a lot of penalty calls go Arsenal's way in the Premier League this season already, thanks to handball. The Arsenal defence able to break out of that one. A big, big task for this young Arsenal team as Marquinhos makes his way in behind. First chance for the home side, but his shot goes wayward from the young wide player. There is Trossard with Enketia in the middle, back to Leandro Trossard on this left-hand side. Cuts across for Enketia, first time shot. Great save by Benitez. And this rotated Arsenal side looking to take charge here in the Europa League at the Emirates Stadium in front of their home fans. Two good opportunities early on. One goes wide, one saved by the goalkeeper. Passing by PSV, Arsenal defence pushed up. Slightly here, Kivior had to make that one count and did in his Arsenal debut here, starting in the Europa League. In central defence alongside Rob Holding. An experienced Arsenal defender in Rob Holding with new man Kivior. Has a lot to teach him about, I'm sure, but so far they're looking strong at the back for the Gunners. And now with El Nene, middle of the pitch, finding Jorginho, who's hounded up by the PSV midfield. Losing possession there, potentially starting a counter-attack for the away team. What a counter-attack it could prove to be. De Jong down to the left-hand side, Ghazi With Tomoyasu trailing over to the left-hand side, Max now with the ball in. Rob holding, not a very good clearance. First time shot by Veerman. and that one goes wide. First chance. Garzi now back to Max. Rob Holding comes over to try help out Tomoyasu, but that leaves space open in the middle. Of course, Marconos, nice interception. Gets taken down, and Arsenal free kick is given. First half an hour gone here. Marquinhos with Smith Rowe. One more for Enketu. Struggled to score so far in this campaign. Taken out there. Lovely tackle from the defence. As Onene misplaced past again. The Arsenal midfield really struggling to hold on to possession here early on. Something they're always normally known for. So Mill Smith throw breaks through the defence. But absolutely scuffs his shot. And goes over the bar. Needs to keep that one down. Switching it over to the right-hand side. Kieran Tierney nowhere near him. Maro Jr. in the box. Kivior on his debut. Very strong tackle. And the Arsenal home fans will be pleased with that from their new defender. Back out on this right side for PSV. Kieran Tierney comes over. And does very well to keep that one in. He needs some support though. Out of play by Mauro Jr. An Arsenal throw is given. Arsenal just can't hold on to possession. One minute of added time in this first half. And maybe a last chance as Tomiyasu 
takes down the wide play and a free kick is given in a dangerous area for PSV, not where you want to make a tackle or make a foul if you're Tomoyasu and Musma throw heads clear. And I think that's going to take us to the end of the first half, nil-nil after 45 minutes played. And maybe in the need of a couple substitutions after a team talk by the manager Mikel Arteta. Quick feet by Trossard, one, two, even catch it there. Two was intercepted, but it's kept on here by the home team as they try to forge their way ahead. His catcher trying to squeeze in behind, but Mauro Jr. lovely defending there. Misplaced pass potentially. Marconos was close to it, not quite able to win back possession though. As the ball is played to the right side of Mauro Jr. has been doing a lot of running down this right side for PSV. Up and down, attacking and defending against Kieran Tiani. But again, give you a lovely interception from PSV again. Vertison in the middle to Till. Arsenal looking a bit worried as the ball gets played across. First time shot is blocked and left for a corner kick. First corner of this match goes to the away team as they try to forge their way ahead and get the first win in the Europa League group stage as a hand is touched. It is the new man, Jorginho, of course, scored a penalty in the Premier League to score his first Arsenal goal. Now gives one away. Arsenal going to take, uh, take this time to make a substitution with half an hour left to play as... Gabriel Jesus comes on for Eddie and Ketcher. Matt Turner, a chance to turn himself into a hero. Dives the right way. El Ghazi puts it in the corner, though, as Arsenal drop 1-0 at home to PSV here in the Europa League. Similar to their start in the Premier League. Unable to hold on to possession. Missed placed passes and going 1-0 down. You can see Arteta is not happy with his team. In the first hour of this matchup, it's not where they expected. Even with a rotated team, I think they still were confident to get a win here in the group stage. Of course, their goal for the Europa League this year will be to win that competition. Uh, as well as the Premier League and challenging the Premier League. But this is not the start that they wanted here today. And maybe a double here as Teal lays off again the striker. Rob Holding does well to track the run. As that could have been double trouble for Arsenal. Marquinhos now. Trying to burst down this right side, create something for the home team, but can't get anywhere. Up for, uh, for Arsenal, I see uh, Gabriel Martinelli, Bakayo Saka, Martin Odegaard, and others all warming up for the home team. Arteta may be trying to switch the entire front line here. Lovely interception by Kivior again. Going to take this down the left-hand side. Could be too little too late for Arsenal, though. Obviously started with a rotated team. And now they have to bring on all the substitutions. Nice ball up from Trossard to Emil Smith-Rowe. Another massive opportunity for Arsenal. And it goes wide. Smith-Rowe, you have to get that on target there. You really, really do. Outrageous miss from Emil Smith-Rowe. Absolutely outrageous. He goes off for Martin Odegaard, who gets fouled on his first touch on the ball. Saka, Martinelli and Fabio Vieira also joining Arsenal here. With Martin Odegaard trying to get back to Bukayo Saka. Not how uh, this Arsenal team expected this match to go, I don't think. Saka, nice interception. Odegaard lays off Gabriel Jesus, who breaks through the middle. Lovely dribbling, lovely run. And lovely save from Benitez. Again, Arsenal struggling to break through and get goals. It's an outswinger from Bukayo Saka. Interesting. It's bobbled around. Falls to Tomoyasu. Saka has it back. No one in the box for Arsenal. They all left the box. <laughs> they're trying to get a goal. You need players in the box. Instead, they all, they're all leaving. Here is Saka again. Fabio Vieira off the bench. Odegaard has plenty of players. Tommy Arsenal lays off Gabriel Jesus. And there is the Arsenal goal from the man off the bench. Gabriel Jesus, former Man City striker, turned Arsenal. And lovely finish as he ties things up. At 1-1, one, one. nice pass by Odegaard, laid off Tomoyasu, one more for Jesus, and lovely finish, a cross goal to get back level peg. That's the momentum Arsenal need with all these subs coming on, maybe a little wake-up call for Arsenal, for Arteta, showing uh, in the Europa League, maybe you need to start your strongest 11. Advantage was played, but ended as soon as Odegaard picked up the ball, here's Jesus with a bad touch. Subs came on, it's been a different Arsenal, se uh, Arsenal team though. Fabio Vieira, lovely interception. Here is Gabriel Martinelli with a hefty, hefty touch. Final 10 minutes. And PSV are not looking confident now at all. Momentum has shifted to the home team since all these subs have come on. Is Gabriel Martinelli finding Martin Odegaard. Again, bad touches 
from these Arsenal front four right now. Really wasting possession with a bad touch. Exception for Fabio Vieira. Jesus, little dink pass for Martin Odegaard who goes for a goal with his head. Had plenty of time. Benitez didn't come out. Had plenty of time to touch that one down. And actually have a shot instead of a header. Obviously, Martin Odegaard not the best in the air. Really, really, really had a massive opportunity to take that one down there. End of this one. And Arsenal desperately trying to get this ball back to get one more chance. Long shot is saved. Matt Turner going to distribute that as quick as possible. Martinelli, bad, bad pass. But Tiani is luckily there to win it back. But Xavi wins it back for PSV. Final two minutes of stoppage time here. Lovely tackle by Kivio. He's been fantastic in his debut here for Arsenal. Martinelli off the bench has not been fantastic. Interception by Odegaard. Martinelli potentially running down this left-hand side. Jesus sets him, th uh, sets him free. Gabriel Martinelli in stoppage time. Not going to get another chance after this, Martinelli. With the last shot of the game. Almost goes up for a throw-in. Saka keeps it in. But the full-time whistle is blown. And this one ends 1-1. What a chance for Martinelli. Oh, if that wasn't last kick of the game, that would have been a goal. We've got the last kick glitch where it forces you to miss. At least Jesus gets the goal. Some of the boys are going to be tired for this Leicester game, though, ladies and gentlemen. Well, just three days later, and here we are back. At the Emirates Stadium for Arsenal v Leicester in the Premier League here on Sky Sports. Premier League live as the Gunners look to maintain momentum in the Premier League after the big 5-2 win over Southampton. See if they can get back-to-back -back wins in the league here today. It's going to be tough, but I'm sure Leicester will come out the gates blazing here today. Who's getting things started here for the home team? A fully strength Arsenal side. After, of course, they rotated in the Europa League. And already a bad pass by Gabriel. Sets through Patson Daka. Ramsdale with a great save. And that is not the way Arteta wanted this team to start at all. Brendan Rodgers looking on eagerly. As Leicester, in two minutes, already have a corner kick. Shocking pass by Gabriel. Really, really terrible. Ramsdale comes out and makes another great save. Really sloppy pass from... The Arsenal defender then, and I mean, at home, if that's how you're starting out, a bit nervy. And again, Ben White now giving away the ball. Patson Daka again through. Gabriel this time making the tackle. And now he passes out of play. I don't know what's going on with the Arsenal defence. They look all over the place. All over the place. Do these Arsenal defenders, a full-strength Arsenal team, after resting in the Europa League. I thought they would come out with confidence here today, but they look like they don't know. They, they look like they've just woken up, looking ready for a Premier League Match, that's for sure. It's Martinelli over to Bukayo Saka. Trying to slow things down now is Odegaard. Up to Gabriel Jesus. Had a great late goal. Late equaliser in the Europa League against PSV. Trying to get this one into Bukayo Saka. Good defending by Johnny Evans, though. Very nervy start from the home team. It's not the Arsenal that we expected to see this season. That's for sure. I mean, in the first, you, you take them back to the first couple games of the Premier League campaign where they were just nervy against the likes of... Newcastle in their opener um, and then Crystal Palace in their second of course that when they got the first loss uh, just did not look confident at all they look better against Manchester City weirdly enough but again very very nervy out of position out of touch here's James Madison on the right side for Leicester ball played across the middle of the box and Harvey Barnes is there for the header beating Ramsdale this time as Leicester take a 1-0 lead lovely cross from James Madison finding Harvey Barnes in the middle of the box with the diving header to put the away team 1 0 up. And again, Arsenal just look absolutely in disarray right now. They don't know where they are. Shocking defending again. Shocking defending. But Brendan Rodgers will be happy with that one. Lovely diving header from Harvey Barnes. Incredible cross from James Madison. And Arsenal already down 1 0. The trend that continues this season. Of Arsenal conceding first for the Gunners. Every match they just seem to be conceding first. Sloppy defending. Conceding silly goals. And having to fight back from a goal down. Up to the right side. Gabriel this time. Not letting James Madison get the better of him. Martinelli with Jesus. Trying to set free Gabriel Martinelli down. This left hand side. Chops inside. Onto his right foot in the box. Now goes for goal. And inches past the post. The Arsenal fans thought it was in. We thought it was in from up here. Lovely effort from Martinelli. And that one was not far off at all. Arteta 
Trying to get his team back into this one. They'll be looking for a goal in this first half to level things up. And that's how you want to play. Down that left-hand side, use your speed, use your pace. Get in behind and hopefully get a shot on target. Here's Martinelli again. Up to Gabriel Jesus. Martinelli and Jesus linking up. Xhaka back to party. This place passed again. Terrible, just sloppy. Nonchalant. They're not even thinking about where they want to pass the ball. Saliba using strength. Referee says free kick. Martin Odegaard now trying to create something for the home team. Nice run. Oh, so much space up there on the left-hand side. But Ndidi not letting him get anywhere near that six-yard box. Great defending from the midfielder there. That's what he does. He links up the defense and attack does Ndidi. Always there when Leicester need him most. Bukayo Saka now down this right-hand side. Jesus in the box. They're trying to find him and do... What a save from the Leicester goalkeeper. Jesus right in front of the goal. Halftime is called 1-0 to the away team. A big, big chance to end the half there for Jesus. But this one goes into the break. Leicester leading thanks to that man there. Harvey Barnes. No substitutions to start the second half. As Leicester get things underway here. With 45 minutes left on the clock. Arteta's team looking to force their way back into this one again. From a goal down like they have been all season so far. Gunners early on trying to show some energy in this second half for the home fans who are not going to be pleased with that first half performance, especially from the defence. I mean, they had some strong tackles, but overall their passing and composure, especially from a team like Arsenal who are known for their passing out the back play, they've been shocking. Chance after chance for Leicester, most of them coming from Arsenal defensive errors. At the box going for goal is blocked. But a guy can try to play out from the back. Here is... Gabriel Martinelli with Jesus alongside him again. A big pass forward for Martinelli. Going to cut up to his right foot like he normally does. He has Zinchenko out on the left. Uses him. Trying to find Jesus. And cannot. Risky pass there by Zinchenko. Ball up to the left-hand side. Patson Daka setting up for a long shot. Gabriel made himself big to block that. I like Leicester. They're, they're, they're not sitting back with a the 1-0 there. Going for more. Trying to still take it to Arsenal here, even being away 1-0 up, you would think maybe they'll sit back be a bit quiet about it, but no, they're still going at Arsenal, still trying to get shots away and trying to double their advantage here Thomas Partey steps over, using that strength, nice tackle, Leicester throw in given, half an hour left on the clock from Leicester, Castagna on the right side, Zinchenko comes over, can't get the ball back, Daka's pass is deflected and Partey can win it back, but for how long Xhaka's in the box. He loses possession. James Madison, I'll pass across. Back in the middle. Good, good, good block by Saliba. Again, Leicester coming at Arsenal with all they've got. Trying to get two in this one and shut this game out. Jesus, pass intercepted. Nowhere to be found was Martin Odegaard there. And Arsenal maybe having to think of some substitutions about this time. Just nothing has been going their way this time. Man City have Leicester next. Back-to-back -back tough games for Leicester. But if they get a win here, they'll feel much more confident going into that Manchester City game. That's for sure. As Martinelli drives forward again a bit too far. Saka laying off Martin Odegaard in the middle. Again, Leicester have been so, so good at those. The entry passes from Arsenal. Leicester just swiped them all up like they're nothing. Big interceptions from the Leicester City defence. They've been incredible here today to shut out this Arsenal team. We've been pushing... Pushing and pushing. Zinchenko. Ball into Jesus. First chance of the second half for the Gunners. Goes wide. Changes for both teams. And Ketia comes on. Looks like a two-striker formation for Arsenal here. Trossard comes on the left-hand side as well. Be interested to see how Ketia and Jesus play side by side for the first time this season. Trying to squeak through. Leicester know that Arsenal are pushing for an equaliser. Which means they can catch them on the counter-attack potentially. Ben White on this right-hand side. Went a bit too far there into the defender. Trying to win it back. And a goal kick is given. Three minutes left. It's looking like another Arsenal defeat in the Premier League here. And rivals like Manchester City, even though they beat Manchester City, we know City are not going to be dropping many points this season. And league rivals are going to be absolutely running away from the likes of Arsenal if they keep picking up losses like this. Already their second loss in the Premier League, of course. Crystal Palace being the first. Lovely passing and Jamie Vardy in the 92nd minute. Half a minute left of this one. It won't be an Arsenal v Leicester game without that man, Jamie Vardy, getting a goal. He's 
so clinical and it comes up against the Gunners and yet again Leicester incredible passing Arsenal couldn't get close to them and Jamie Vardy kept on side by Zinchenko with a left footed finish to wrap this one up and the away fans are going home happy shocking performance from Arsenal as the four time whistle is blown here at the Emirates Stadium first loss at home of the season Brendan Rodgers shakes hands with Mikel Arteta as this one ends 2-0 to the away team Arsenal 0 Leicester 2 and Mikel Arteta is going to have to have a big big talk with his team this gameplay mod is in you can't breathe bro like it's hard to commentate and play at the same time don't get me wrong but the gameplay I love it the fact that it's challenging again if this series does well we may do like a road to glory with a lower team and I think that'll be awesome because right now we're letting down Arsenal. We should be winning and we're dropping a lot of points. But with a lower down team, it could be very, very challenging. Wow, man. Aubameyang, player of the month. Ugh. Oh, it goes from bad to... I thought we could sim the Carabao Cup and get an easy win. We lose 1-0 to Middlesbrough. We're out of the Carabao Cup. I don't really care. I care about more, more about the FA Cup anyway. But Jesus Christ, man. We're going to get sacked. See how Ter gets sacked. It's Arsenal Chelsea to end off the episode. Well, the stage is set for this one. We are back at the Emirates Stadium in the Premier League here on Sky Sports as Arsenal take on London rivals Chelsea. Aubameyang makes his return to the Emirates Stadium here as a Chelsea player. You can see Odegaard and Gabriel Jesus both start in this one here on the TIFO. New man Mudrik. Cost a hundred million pounds for Chelsea is here starting this one. And it's going to be a absolutely end-to-end -end classic between these two London rivals. I wonder what the response will be for that man of Bamiang. The home fans already are giving him a lot of stick. I'm sure we'll hear that throughout this one. As Arsenal take on Chelsea. And it's live on Sky Sports. Arsenal line up in the 4-2-3-1. Then with Aaron Ramsdale in goal. Back four of Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel and Zinchenko. The same side that faced off against Leicester City in their 2-0 defeat last week. Martinelli is on the left-hand side. Jesus up top with Saka on the right. Odegaard in Cam with Party and Zinchenko. Party and Xhaka, the two midfielders. As for Chelsea, then again, a 4-2-3-1 formation. For them as well. New man Mudrik on the left-hand side. Kai Havertz in cam with Ziyech on the right-hand side. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, the lone striker. Jao Felix on the bench. Mason Mount on the bench. Strong bench for both teams. As this one is underway. It's going to be back and forth end-to-end -end here at the Emirates Stadium. Home fans desperate for three points after dropping points again against Leicester City. Not how they expected this season to begin. But a good start to his Chelsea career here. Got player of the month for the first month of the Premier League campaign. We'll see if he can continue that form against his former team at the Emirates Stadium. Of course, not going to have a good reception from those home fans. But right now, even the Arsenal players haven't been getting a good reception from the home fans as they've just not been playing as good as we thought they would be. Back out to the right-hand side. Ben White trying to get in behind Kukurea here. Need some options in the box. He sees Bukayo Saka crosses in. A hand was hit, ladies and gentlemen. And after 14 minutes, Arsenal again have a penalty. They had so many to begin the season. Jorginho has scored one. Saka has scored one. Saka's also missed two or three, though. So I'm not sure who they're going to give this one to. Gabriel Jesus will step up for this one against Mendy. Jesus goes left and keeps it on target and puts the home team 1-0 up. Arsenal finally get the first goal in a match they're so used to going 1-0 down recently to start this season that is the start to this match they wanted it you can see what it means to the home fans again they're desperate for three points especially when it comes up against London rivals clinical penalty for Gabriel Jesus to put the Gunners 1-0 up and you can see what it means for Mikel Arteta and the Arsenal bench nice passing down this right side for Chelsea commentator's curse as Aubameyang's pass is intercepted goes back to Ramsdale bad distribution Mudrik with his first touch of the game there. Again goes down to him. Thomas Partey takes him down. Long shot by Kai Havertz. Forcing a great save from Aaron Ramsdale. And kept in by Zinchenko. But Aubameyang pressing here on Zinchenko. Bad place to misplace the pass. And Mudrik, the £100 million signing, skies the ball over the bar. Chelsea away fans were on their feet. 
as that one is also going into Rosehead. Jesus, nice pressing on Kukure to win the ball back here. Saka to Odegaard, trying to go one more to Martinelli. Koulibaly, big body was there though. Over to Mudrik again, Ben White on him and takes him down and surely going to be a booking for Ben White. Not even a free kick, says the referee and the Chelsea players are furious at that call. It looked like Ben White got nothing but Mudrik's leg there, but whistles stayed silent. Arsenal will not complain as they continue to attack as the pass is intercepted. A lot of sloppy passing for both teams. Real sloppy passing, wasting possession. Jesus knocks it forward for Martinelli to chase, but an Arsenal free kick is given here. And again, the Chelsea players and fans letting the referee know they are not in support of that decision. Chelsea very quick to win possession back, though. Ziyech. A lot of the play going down this right-hand side for Chelsea early on. Back on him, and surely now that is going to be a foul. The referee does blow the whistle, and that could be a booking for Xhaka. We know he can get in some trouble with Arsenal over his years here. And the yellow card is branded for Granit Xhaka here. No, uh, no mistake of that. Crunching tackle. Free kick goes short. Kovacic on this right side. Aubameyang now in the box. Passing across. Into the box. Ball goes in. And Ramsdale forced to make a great save yet again. From Ziyech. Incredible reflexes from the English goalkeeper. As half-time approaches. Arsenal trying to hold on to this sacred 1-0 lead. Chelsea fans and players lobbying for a handball from Zinchenko. Referee says no. Corner given. Kovacic making a short option. Ziyech will use that short option. Cross then goes in. Saka's there. Plenty of players there. Referee blows his whistle. Has he given a penalty the other way? He has. Consistency's key for the referee today. Arsenal go 1-0 up via their penalty. I think this one comes off the hand of Thomas Partey. As it's cleared off, Partey does not seem to think it was a handball. Referee says it is. And Aubameyang has the chance to level things up against his former club. Ramsdale goes the wrong way and Aubameyang equalises here at the Emirates Stadium. And the Arsenal home fans are not pleased to see that man get a goal. Booze rain from behind the goal. Clinical penalty goes bottom corner. And Graham Potter's side have equalised 1-0. If you're Arsenal, if you're Mikel Arteta, that is not the time you want to concede. You're finally leading in the game. You've had a couple chances. And all of a sudden you give away a penalty. And you uh, you let the opposition equalise. And all of a sudden, Ziyech from kickoff, attacking down this right side. Kai Havertz in the box. Ball goes into Aubameyang on the volley. Is cleared by Gabriel. Not cleared enough, though. Martinelli, good interception. And finally, Arsenal can just about get it out of their box. Second half kicked off here for, uh, for Arsenal, the home side. As they look to forge their way ahead in this one after the early penalty from Gabriel Jesus was equalised by the... Late penalty in that first half by Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Early chance here for Jesus. As a shot is blocked, who did it come off last? Oh, a free kick is given. Edge of the box for Arsenal to start this second half. You want a right footer on this one. But it looks like Martin Odegaard is going to be the one to step up and take this one over the wall on target. And the captain does exactly what we said was needed from Arsenal, puts Arsenal 2-1 up here at the Emirates Stadium, putting the team on his back. I thought maybe a left foot would be difficult from that side from a free kick. Two set-piece goals for the Gunners, still struggling to score from open play, but Arteta will be more than happy with a free kick like that over the wall, tucked into the corner as Martin Odegaard gives Arsenal the lead for Trossard, a seemingly regular substitution that has been taking place to start this campaign. Whenever Martinelli's not really in a game too much, Trossard is the one to come on. Nice bench option for Mikel Arteta's side. Rhys James ball over the top. Gabriel staying big. Nice interception. And Arsenal maybe now looking for a third to try lock this one up. It'll be a big three points for them. After, of course, dropping a home loss to Leicester City last time out. Here is Jesus trying to find Odegaard in again. Intercepted. Xhaka picks it straight back up, though. Here goes Thomas Party with a long shot. Very, very, very ambitious there. And what a result will be for Arsenal, though. Able to beat Chelsea and Manchester City. Oh, but they've conceded. Commentators curse just as we spoke about it. Chelsea hit them on the counter-attack out of nowhere. And Kovacic has a lovely finish top corner. As Aaron Ramsdale's beat, Gabriel stepped up at the wrong time. Slipped through Kovacic. Top corner. You're not saving that one. You're not keeping that one out. 
And again, Arsenal struggle to hold on to a lead. And again, Arsenal from kickoff, giving away possession. They've been so sloppy on the ball these last couple of games. Just looking nervous and not in charge of their passing. Jesus slipped through, but was offside. Jao Felix, big money man, Jao Felix. Comes on, half the Chelsea team are big money players right now. As of course, Mudrik, we spoke about him being worth 100 million. Jao Felix was the same as he checks in to this one. Big subs on the bench for Chelsea. Big uh, game changers, game deciders as Jao Felix checks in. Bamang trying to slip through Jao Felix. Arsenal's defence pushing really high up here, which is forcing all the space in behind. Kai Havertz down on the right side with Ziyech in help. Xhaka keeps his arms down. Good block. Kai Havertz was in an offside position. Double sub for Arsenal. Kieran Tierney comes on at left back and then Ketcher joins Gabriel Jesus up top again like they did last time out. We'll see how they play together in the dying embers of this one. Tierney with the overlap. Here is Jesus and Eddie Ketcher with his first touch of the game. Left foot shot is saved by Mendy. Big opportunity. His first touch of the game could have been the go-ahead goal. 20 minutes left on the clock. Massive opportunity for Eddie and Ketchy off the bench. Both stri uh, strikers trying to prove why they should be the starting striker. And getting a goal late on like that would give your name a big, big boost in Arteta's eyes. Ben White again getting the best of Jao Felix out there. Jao Felix holds on to the ball though. In the box is Reese James. Saliba stays strong. Big tackle there. And Ketchy with Jesus alongside him. And Ketchy makes the run through. Koulibaly again. Crucial interception. He's good at those. Really good at those. Chip through ball. Trying to find Reese James in behind. Ben White is on him. But Reese James manages to use his strength. Hold on to it. Jao Felix. Switch of the ball. Over to Ziyech. Who's been good this game. And bad pass there though. And a counter-attack by Arsenal. They're trying to hit them on the counter-attack now. Down to the left is Trossard. One more for Jesus. Trying to get him behind. And does. He has... Eddie and Ketcher in the box. He has Bukayo Saka back post. He tries to get it across to Bukayo Saka with an open goal. As Arsenal with 10 minutes left on the clock. Get their go-ahead goal. Bukayo Saka, English player of the year. Gets the goal. Jesus with the assist. Incredible pass across the face of the box. Real dangerous pass there. Saka on his right foot. Tough angle to put that one in. And Arsenal may be on their way to a big three points here at home. You can see what it means to Saka. You can see what it means to Arteta and the home fans as well. If they see this one off now, two big wins against both City and Chelsea, if they can get it done here today. Makes amount of burst of energy off the bench for Graham Potter's team. They're just trying to do anything they can. Aubameyang tackled by Gabriel. Mason Mount wins it back, but a foul is given. Aubameyang had plenty of space there. Mason Mount off the bench. No card is given, but a risky, risky foul trying to win that one back. A hold on to the ball for these last five minutes here. At home, you can hear the home fans loud and proud. Dropping points to teams like Leicester and Crystal Palace, but beating Manchester City and Chelsea. They're going to want to turn those defeats into wins if they're going to get anything out of this Premier League campaign. And catch one more for Kieran Tierney, who is in an offside position. And that surprised me. Arsenal going on an attack there. I thought they were just going to sit back, hold on to the ball. Seemed to be the smart thing to do. Odegaard wins the header. Jesus down to Nketiah. And again, back in possession. Just trying to hold on to it here. Tierney back to Ramsdale. Four minutes added. And they are looking confident here today. They came out with a clear game plan today. A penalty for both teams. But the goal by Saka late on could prove to be the winner. Thomas Partey giving away possession. In a stupid, stupid position. Again, this Arsenal team just bewildered me. I mean, at this late, you just need to hold on to the ball. But they do what they came here to do anyway at home against Chelsea. Hold on to a 3-2 win. Incredible, incredible fixture here today for the Gunners. This one ends Arsenal 3, Chelsea. When Man City lose at home to Aston Villa... What an end-to-end -end game. I knew it would be a fun one. Ladies and gentlemen, Saka bags winner against Chelsea. We need consistency, but we've showed that we can win. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed. I'm loving this series. Hopefully you are too, and we'll keep doing 
more. I've been Harry Tuvio, also known as Green Skid, and I'm signing out. Bye-bye for now. Much of us always. Take care and peace. Oh, I never want us to burn down.